I'm going to talk about ransomware mitigation, which is a new security layer or security feature addition that we're bringing to uh, the cloud security for, for MSP um, product. So what, what we've seen um, Along the time with ransomware attacks and so on, we have a very comprehensive um, security layer stack for ransomware, but there have always been a lot of questions like, how can I recover my files after a block ransomware attack? Can I do a rollback? We have this rollback functionality um, from ATC and everybody assumed that they can do a rollback of encrypted files as well. And we've always tried to, to educate them on what that means. Um, and that we cannot do a rollback of encrypted files. We cannot encrypt, uh, de uh, we cannot decrypt the encrypted files and so on. Also other questions, can Bitdefender block remote ransomware attacks? and so on. So we've taken all the feedback that we received from you and from other MSP partners and even uh, enterprise partners, and we thought about a way of being able to recover files after a block ransomware attack. And this is what ransomware mitigation is. Now we have a very comprehensive security layer stack against that, that fights against ransomware, that protects against ransomware, like uh, hyperdetect, advanced threat control, sandbox, EDR, and so on. And ransomware mitigation comes in to on top of all of those security features. It's not a standalone feature. It comes and it provides the ability to recover the encrypted files during a blocked ransomware attack. So what I want to do is to uh, show you a quick demo of how we are going to do that. You are going to see this feature at the release in November available in the cloud security for MSP core functionality. And I have my colleague Bogdan with me, and he's going to help me with a very quick demo going through the functionality and how you need to set it up from the policy. Bogdan? Uh, yes, thank you, Katarina. Uh, in a few seconds, I will share my screen. So I think now you can see my screen. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, now I will present you a short demonstration regarding how ransomware mitigation feature works. Uh, here I have a computer where I have uh, some important files for me, also uh, some work-related documents. Uh, let's open a document in order to see the content. So this is uh, one of my work-related documents. Uh, and here on this computer I have also some personal pictures. And uh, now let's suppose that I'm an employee who received the following email and uh, because I saw here the IT department, I thought this is an important email and uh, I decided to follow the instruction from here. So now I will follow those steps. I will download the archive. I will extract the files. And uh, I will run this security patch. But now uh, I finally realized that I'm a victim of uh, cyber, a cyber attack. So my first thing is to go in my documents back in order to see what happened with them. So let's check again the content of the documents. So I cannot manage to see the documents because they were encrypted before due to the ransomware attack. So let's check the picture also. So I cannot read uh, all my files. So because I can show you I have the uh, ransomware mitigation enabled here in my, my computer. I just received also a notification regarding the ransomware attack. Uh, so here in this notification, I have some details regarding the ransomware attack. And uh, now let's switch to Gravity Zone console in order to see uh, what information we have here. So uh, we have ransomware activity here under reports menu. And uh, uh, here is my detection from now. Uh, I have the number of the encrypted files 
and I will click on it. And here is a list of all the all my encrypted files. So the restore status for them is not initiated because uh, I didn't initiate a, a restore process till now. And uh, all the files uh, will be stored uh, during 30 days on the endpoint. And uh, during this time, I have the possibility to restore my files. So now let's go back in ransomware activity and uh, start the restore process for my detection. And switch again to the computer in order to see the files. So here the files are uh, back on the computer and let's check the content. So now I'm able to to see the all to see all my files. I have here in this folder also the encrypted the, the files and of course the restored files. Let's check and uh, one more document. So as you can see, the content of my documents uh, is readable again. Uh, now I will show you one more thing. Uh, uh, here, uh, ransomware mitigation module can be activated from uh, policy. So uh, let's create a new policy. For example, here in uh, on execute section, I will have my ransomware mitigation module, which is which is disabled by default, and uh, I will activate it. And here I have the possibility to protect me against also the locally and the remote attacks. And here the recover method. I have two options on demand and automatically. Thank you so much, Bogdan. If you would allow me to add just a few more words here. Um, as Bogdan mentioned, we are also introducing some new <clears throat> use cases in terms of remote attacks. And with ransomware mitigation, we're also covering remote attacks. So if you have any any use cases like some um, any guests coming in the company network with a laptop that's not protected by Bitdefender and he needs access to, to um, some resources from specific network shares in order to in meetings in order to discuss with you and so on or with the work from home scenarios where people face uh, some moments in, need, in which they need to use their personal laptops in order to do quick things or maybe they don't don't all of them have laptops from work which are set up with the right security solution in place and if they access any of the um, uh, company files and so on you are prone to remote attacks from endpoints that are not protected by Bdefender and this usually happens to to your file servers and network shares so with this uh, with this feature we also intercept and block remote ransomware attacks and we provide the ability to restore the files that were encrypted before we block the attack if it gets to that point uh, back on the file server or network share. And in terms of recovery, as Bogdan mentioned, two options. If you want to uh, verify first the, uh, the ransomware attack, verify the files that were encrypted, validate it first before recovering the files, you have the option to do that on demand. If you've gained enough confidence in the feature and you want to streamline that security operation, you can also choose to do it automatically, which means that as soon as we block the ransomware attack, we'll automatically recover the files.